If you are considering buying properties in the Cleveland market, right, for a real estate investment, if you're considering buying a house in the Cleveland market to, like, live in with your 2.5 kids and your white picket fence and your dog, I mean, this is not, this is not the locale for you. This is, you're probably not going to get what you want here. But if you are an out-of-state investor, right, perhaps somebody from Florida looking to invest in Cleveland, do not, do not do so until you watch this video. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I help people like you invest in real estate every day. People like Sandy and Chris, two investors from Palm Beach, Florida. You guys have come to the Cleveland market because we got the cash flow, right? You Google cash flow properties, and Cleveland's one of the best markets. You guys saw this property, thinking about buying it. It's a duplex, 10411 Bernard Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Priced at 139.9 been on the market 32 days you guys think this is going to make sense right think it's a a good deal right you're like hey man this looks pretty good what do you think and before uh you drop 140,000 you want me to take a look at it what we have is one unit's occupied at 695 and the other as you can see through the pictures it's vacant it was owner occupied Okay, now it's empty, but it's dated, right? And it probably will need a good like 15, uh, 15 grand uh, of cosmetic work to get it up to snuff, and then we can get market rent, which will be close to about 800. Okay, updated electrical, which is nice. Um, there's your washer dryer set up for your tenants, and then of course you got that other tenant. Like I said, they're paying 695, but eventually you'll probably get them up to a market rate. So market rate, you could be bringing in like 1600. Uh, however, I don't like this deal. I don't even want you guys to focus on this one. Why? Because it's overpriced. Uh, properties in the Cleveland market, they go like that. Okay. The fact that this has been on the market for over 32 days, it's because it's overpriced. It's overpriced by like at least 40k. Honestly, it's probably worth like a hundred. Maybe less. We got some unknowns here, right? It's owner occupied, which uh, I'm going to guess is partially why uh, what I'm about to explain has not been uh, has not happened or been mentioned by the seller or their agent at all, right? Uh, number one, I think a duplex like this under normal circumstances, one empty unit which is dated, one below market rent tenant should be worth about a hundred, okay? In this neighborhood, it should be about a hundred right now. It's already forty k more than that. That's a problem. That's enough to not even worry about this deal anyway. Second thing, no mention by anybody about the new Cleveland lead-based paint certification process, right? It's a very long, uh, detailed, tenuous, and difficult process, right? So because it was owner-occupied and because that program is going off to a very, very slow start, uh, I'm guessing they don't have any idea about it, and uh, that would be a future problem for you. Now, to explain just how big of an issue that would be, uh, I have another video where I broke down the exact way you would go about getting your rental property lead paint certified in the Cleveland market. So after this video, uh, you folks are definitely going to want to watch that show. So right off the rip, uh, 40k overpriced, and then if it does have lead issues which we don't even know about and we're not going to get to know about it because the seller is not going through the process their property should have already been done they're not dealing with it you have another big unknown issue uh, that would make the current value of your property even less than 100 but i can't tell you how much less right now because they don't even know uh, so for you folks this is not the first investment for you into this cleveland market this one would be some issues now there's nothing wrong with buying a property that has not yet been through that program but you have to get that built into your listing price you have to get that built into your acquisition price there's nothing wrong with investors buying problems right it's how we make money we buy properties with problems we solve those problems but you have to get it at the right price and this one is at least 40 if not 10 15 20 25 30 40 thousand dollars more overpriced so this one this is a dud move on to the next 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.